All right, everybody, we are back at it. Sunday, April 23rd, another week of uh, the Daily Challenge. I'm Shane. Let's do this thing. I have a really good feeling about today. I'm going to make myself a little, and let's try to get to 20,000 points. If you have not seen it before, what happens is there are five locations. Each one is worth 5,000 points, depending on how close you get. Uh, you saw yesterday, uh, you can see here, I did 21,000. Uh, I was awesome until I got to the last one. I got in the correct country of Columbia, but just forever away. That cost me, otherwise I had a chance to go close to 24. So, here we go. First location for today is Cebicheria. All right, so Jim Botano. Um, looks like we are in, obviously, a Spanish-speaking country. Uh, oh, no, Hospedaje with a J. So that makes me think, possibly... We're in Brazil. That J is pretty illustrative of Portuguese. Um, so we've got poles here with um, yellow and green and yellow and uh, Chimbotano. Yeah, this is seeming like Portuguese to me. So do we have a clear read on the sun? It looks like it's over there in the south. Maybe that means we're in the northern hemisphere. But let's let's go take a look around here. Cerveza. Authentic, authentic beer. So that actually seems really Spanish to me. But let's go see. Let's go see what's over here. I'm trying to take Puerto. So PuertoAquario.com. Intel Peru. Okay. Um. That seems like we are okay. Puerto Cario fish. Are we in Peru? Let's go look at some. Uh, so Puerto Aquaria, we got to remember that. So that would be on the west coast, you would think, because it's a, it just means port. Um, and here we are again. Okay, PuertoAquaria.com. I'm going to go look for it in a second. The other thing that would give Peru away uh, would be... Um, Carbio. God, some of the words just look so Brazilian. And it's killing me. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fixate on that. There's a sign that said Peru, and the rest of the words all look Spanish. Now, if we can see, uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. I should probably be using the rest of my time. I would just like to see a black and white bollard, a striped black and white bollard. They're so indicative of Peru. Oh man, I just feel I might be being read astray here. All right, um, this does not look like Peru to me, but I'm going to go by that sign and say it has to be. So Puerto Acario, where are we? Uh, it's going to be on, like I said, on the coast. No shit, right? Because uh, it's a port. Port. Here's Puerto Malabro. Yeah, I mean, just let's get lucky here. Let's get lucky with Puerto Acario. Here's point to, I'm going to put it near Lima until I find something better. we got 17 seconds. Puerto de la Lomas. Um, we have to be getting Puerto de Bamba. Come on, where are you, Puerto Car? And that's Chile there. So, Boca del Rio, Puerto Garu. Come on, just tell me where you are. Puerto Acario, appear. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Now, that's crazy because I thought I'd moved it down to Lima, but apparently I didn't. Oh, 22 miles. I did move it down to Lima. That's awesome. Okay, so. Okay, I totally misread what I just did. That was really good. So that's interesting. We are here. Um, I don't know what Puerto... It's certainly not a port, but maybe Puerto Acario is over here. They're saying Puente de los Suspiros. Well, I'm not going to fixate on it. We got 4,800 points, and that's a really good start for being a little lost at first. So here we are in a place that looks to me... Eastern Lynx 01. Huh. We're driving on the right, so we could be back in South America. Eastern Great Links. So maybe, huh, driving on the right in Africa with palm trees is kind of my guess right now. Now, everywhere on the, of the normal things you get um, in Africa, drive, uh, so, okay, in other words, when we're talking about South Africa, Botswana, Kenya, Uganda... Everything on the south to the uh, east coast going up where there's tons of coverage is driving on the left. 
And so usually when we're talking about driving on the right, we are getting over more towards West Africa. Uh, and then we're talking Ghana, Senegal, but Ghana is just a really, this land, Enugu State Development Corporation, no trespassing. So Enugu, wait, does that say Enugu State? All right, maybe there's a state called Enugu. I'm not going to waste much more time here. Because, again, driving on the right is a really, really big clue. The um, the scrolling is pretty laggy. So I don't know that we're going to get much of a better clue. Eastern links, God is our strength. We don't know what Eastern links is. But it could mean that we're in, in the eastern part of the country. But Enugu State is where I'm at right now. I just want to see what this is. Where are we here? A covenant child. Yeah, we're not like, so the Google car is not moving well. I don't know whether it's my internet or what the deal is, but we're gonna go to Ghana because that is a drive on the right country with a ton of coverage. Uh, and it's the state called Enugu. I wish we had state names here. And it's an Eastern link. So maybe it's on the Eastern part of the country. All right, Enugu, do we see Enugu anywhere? Huh. Enugu. There are definitely state divisions here, but I don't see the name of the states anywhere. Ankasa, Kroku. I mean, Eastern links could be could mean or or be just about anything. All right, Ghana is it goes all the way up there. All right, Enugu state though. Hmm. All right, I'm going to put it, so Kumasi is right there. I'm going to split the difference and put it right there and see what happens. Let's go see. Peace mass transit. I just wish the car would go. I wonder if other people are going to have this problem. All right, let's see how we did here. Oh, there's a Nugu right there. And it's not in Ghana, but we knew enough to know it would be in... Um, in East Africa, so that saved us some points. So 2,400 could have been better. Um, and Nigeria, yeah, you know, I just didn't see a flag or anything else that would indicate it. Interesting to note that there was a good amount of English. Anyway, uh, all right, so there we go. Um, got to the right region of the globe, unfortunately not the right country. On to number three. Looking like Europe, obviously here. Got a birch tree, we got some heavy fir trees and things like that. So we're in Northern Europe, immediately thinking Latvia, um, uh, you know, perhaps Scandinavia, but I'm actually, I don't think that's the case right now. Uh, okay, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia type area. Let's go see if we can spot some language on the sign here. Tontalante. Hmm. I don't see any other clues yet, so let's cruise. Let's go for a ride here. Okay, there are some big buildings. This is starting to look finished to me, and that... Uh, Tontalancato. Yeah, the, the, like the, all the uh, birch, the white birch trees that you see. And for some reason, I just have been to Finland before, and it always seems like there's these massive buildings. Katu, and I feel like these words might be Finnish. So like there's salon, all right, um, let me see here. What does it say here? Yeah, long words, which I can't quite make out, but um, straight me is finished. So let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Looking for any kind of like color scheme or something that would, yeah, okay. This to me is Finland, that when you see those A's and I's and two dots over them, We'll see, and like these long words. Oh man, they're so long. Now, let's get a place name. I actually feel really confident in Finland, so you can make fun of me if I'm completely wrong here. I wish I could see this sign. Nope. Um, all right, I'm gonna go back to the start because I feel like there were place names that, I, that were kind of making themselves apparent. I'm actually going the opposite way now, which may be a mistake. All right, here is a bus stop. Let's see what we got here. Didn't I just see writing on this bus stop? No. All right, 49 seconds. Oh, where did I go here? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we're getting into the same issue as always. I feel like I've seen this before, and it's like this kind of these trees and everything may be common to all of Finland, but I've I've seen them before, just not really far outside Helsinki at all, and so. Just like with, with our incorrect Ghana guess, I think the prudent move here is to, let's see, a la, ton, yeah, that's Tontila Katu type stuff, but we don't have enough time. Let's get over to Finland, uh, get outside Helsinki, and let's see if we have anything. I'm going to go like right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was the prudent bet. Um, and so it looks like Someone, some one of my friends got close. We were in the city of Lati, which I didn't see any um, signs for. So, okay, let's, um, we got about 40, we got about 9,200 between two. We're sitting around 11 to 12,000 right now. So the next two are going to have to be really good to get me there. Um, okay, let's see where we are in Asia. Um, so let's try and bar. Planet Gym. Boy, these are beautiful, beautiful buildings. Okay, let's see what this says. Zhang Kang, that almost seems like... Oh, wait. Does that say Bhutan? Yeah, I think it does. Okay, what's this say? Keshab Kumar, General Shop. I mean, that says Bhutan. There's just no question about it. And these buildings jive with what we've seen from Bhutan locations in the past. Okay, now we're in, I mean, I, Deckling Enterprise. All right, so Paro is the town, Bhutan is the country, maybe? Paro, Bhutan? Should we go see if there's a Paro in Bhutan? I don't know, let's just cruise for a little bit here. Let's see if we see another Paro. No, Paro means something else because it's there. Ealing restaurant. Yeah, again, we go back to the question of how many how many cities can there ultimately be? Ultimate game zone, sick. In Bhutan, there cannot be many. There's the red license plates that are um, another Bhutanese, Bhutan trademark. Um, there's mountains everywhere, but that's not going to give us anything because Bhutan is a mountainous country. Oh, come on. I just feel like the Google cars today have been massively effed up and it's pissing me off this is the sign I want right here but I don't think it's going to let me read it Hotel Funsam alright enough of this Funsam Paro which I don't think is right let's just go to Bhutan and see what's up um, and I always have to remember where it is there it is right right next to Nepal okay Timpu oh Paro we found it it is a town beautiful okay so let's let's put some oh here's Paro town yeah, this is like all this stuff is right here. Hell yes, we're going to get really close. So let's go back to the start and look for uh, like the nearest big thing. Gaki Pelri fast food restaurant. All right, maybe. Maybe we can see that. It seems like it's got to be in these main things, right? Gaki Pelri. Any, any sign? Restaurant. Uh, no. Oh, Hotel Kamsum. So... I feel like this is the strip we're on. 16 seconds. Gaki Kemri. Where are you? Gaki Kemri. I'm going over here because I think we went a couple blocks before we got to that. Yeah. Ah, almost got the full five, but that was pretty good. Um, good cool to see Paro and Bhutan and the sign. I don't know how much credit I can take for that, but I, I know I would have gotten to Bhutan by the buildings. Um, yeah, great stuff. Okay, uh, twenty thousand in play. Uh, we gotta, we gotta do this. Typically, when I'm on the mark, move for twenty thousand, they put me absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Reductor Velocidad. So that seems Spanish to me. We're in an area with a playground. Anything we see around here? Um, can't go, yep, not letting us go that way. We can go one way only. And, yeah, they're certainly going to make me earn it here because, uh, it's not going to be immediately apparent. So, reduce velocity because you're around a playground, sure. Sure, no problem. 
All right, not a. All right, we got palm trees. I do want to check out the sun here. I haven't done that yet today, and I'm genuinely like distrustful of the sun. But okay. Okay, residency at Las Dalias. That right there says something policia, and I really, really, absolutely want to get closer. Oh my god, because it's gonna give it away. Oh god, please. Can I get close to that sign? Nope. Nope, that is a heartbreaker. Um, okay, hold on though, let's see. What are these... Those flags, do they look like anything? It's got Mexican colors, sort of. It got almost like Vienna Policia, Venezuela Policia. It's definitely not long enough for Venezuela. All right, let's keep motoring here. No time to lose. Reduce velocity, yes indeed. I'm trying to increase velocity, all due respect to your neighborhood, because I need to go see some signs. Uh, come on, give me something here. We need to, we need to get something. Hey, Ballard. Oh, wait, here, 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 here. Okay, hold on. There was a street sign there. That says Kai. It almost looks like it says Kai. That's messed up. I don't know why it would say Kai, but I'm not going to worry about that. All right, what am I thinking here from the vibes? Like, Caribbean, Central America. Shit. Oh, I'm so mad right now because I'm not getting anything. Okay, what is this? Please be something good. Classificado, se vende. No, absolutely nothing. I don't think it's Guatemala. It doesn't look nice enough. But, like, where is Spanish? Not I mean, okay, hold on. Where's the sun? The sun's in the south. So we're fucking... Are we in Spain? Planillas Electronicas? Oh, boy, if we go to Spain and it's wrong... What a fool I'll look like. But this does feel like it. Like, it almost feels like Mallorca or something. Where is Mallorca? Oh, Ibiza. Um, Malaga. Mallorca, I have no idea. But I, I think it's like Caribbean, Spain. This is this is a tough one because it could be an island. But I'm going to go with near Malaga and hope for the best. <laughs> Puerto Rico. <laughs> Oh, Shane! Shane, 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 Shane! <sighs> that was a little bit heartbreaking, and it's a little sadder because I was in Puerto Rico not long ago, and in fact, I was um, in San Juan, in old San Juan. Uh, I don't think this is old San Juan, is like generally the only. Uh, yeah, Viejo San Juan's up here. I think I would have recognized it. I was literally staying a few miles from this earlier this year. That sucks. That is really, really tough. And I don't know how I would have gotten to it, though. Except to recognize that the buildings looked like... I it looked like an island with palm trees. And if you're thinking Spanish islands, you got to think Puerto Rico. <laughs> 17,000. Man, oh, man, oh, man. That is going to dog me for a while. Um, yeah, you look at my friends here. They nailed it. They were all over it. And, you know, more power to them. Um, so looking at it quickly, the first one was... Uh, um, I can't remember. Oh, the first one was in, um, in South America. We did really well on that one in Peru. Second one, we went gone instead of Nigeria. What are you going to do? Uh, then we were 60 miles away in Finland. We had a really good guess there. Um, almost on the money in Bhutan and Paro, and then absolutely blew Puerto Rico. Say la vie, folks. Uh, that's the way it goes, and we're going to try again tomorrow. We'll see you later.